I'm Julie Jacobs here. It's my turn to do this week's documentary for WGLR.com with, hi dog, um, with St. Patrick's Day getting closer. I thought I would do one of my favorite recipes that kind of has an Irish tradition, although shepherd's pie is kind of more English, but the Irish kind of adapted it in a way. It's got potatoes on it, so I went to like it. Toby, come here. Come. Sit. Okay. Sit. Look at the camera. Since we're making shepherd's pie, there's my German shepherd. Say hi, Toby. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go over the ingredients. All right, first of all, you start out with one pound of ground beef, browned, obviously, and drained. Oh, and set your oven preheat 400. You're going to bake it for 10 minutes when we're all done. Uh, the ingredients you will need, in addition to the hamburger, is a one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I say that right. Or she sauce. One third cup ketchup. Uh, 12 ounce frozen mixed veggies. That's about a small bag, but make sure they're thawed. Otherwise, it won't cook right. And then for the topping, you can buy these slick, already pre made potatoes, like here. Or you can get frozen ones. If, you know, this is a, a quick shepherd's pie recipe, so we're doing. Doing it quick, especially if you're busy with a family. Or, you know, you can just do the potatoes from scratch if you want. Uh, about 24 ounce package of mashed potatoes. And then half cup shredded cheddar. But there's probably a little more than half cup in there because this family likes cheese. Yeah. Okay, okay now let's mix it all together. In. So here you have your, your already browned ground beef. We're going to add one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce in there. And one third cup ketchup. Like so. Hot stove. Oh, I'm making a mess. As you can see, I always have an assistant here while I'm cooking, usually. My assistant. Okay, and then you'll take the 12 ounces of the mixed veggies. Dump that all in there. And stir this mixture until it's all heated through probably a good minute or two. And while that's heating through, you can come over here. Now, the cheese is optional. If you don't want cheese, you don't need to have the cheese. But just stir that in. Like I said, this house likes cheese. So we'll have the cheese. Just stir that in with the mashed potatoes. Hey, you're snitching cheese there, mm, husband. Mmm, cheese. Mmm, cheese. Okay. So next step is putting All right, now time to throw it all together. It's all heated through here in the mixture. So get an 8x8 baking dish. I like thick casseroles. If you want a thinner casserole, you can use the 9x13, but I like the 8x8. By the way, this recipe makes four servings. Okay, four servings. All right. So can you see there, honey? Okay. Put all this mixture in the bottom of the pan. You don't need to spray the pan first, especially if you have a nonstick. Thanks, Toby. Okay. Get that all in there. Down a little bit, and then you take your potato mixture with cheese. With cheese, but that's optional, sweetheart. They don't mm, have to have cheese geez. if they don't want cheese. Oh yeah, I gotta give credit to my husband Scott for being our videographer. Thank you, honey. I expect an Academy Award. You're gonna be waiting a long time. You will get to eat this though, so that's your reward. So spread all that around there, like so, and I like to add, oh, excuse me, honey, sorry, a little bit of seasoning salt on the top, because that goes good on taters, it makes it look pretty. There you go, put it in the oven, got oh, Toby. Alright, bake at 10 minutes. And we'll show you what it looks like in 10 minutes. All right. Here we do go. We have the finished product. Now, I should say cook it until it's heated through. I probably cook it closer to, to 15 minutes. So, there you got Four servings. Scoop it out. Mmm. Looks pretty good. A nice treat year-round doesn't have to be St. Patrick's Day. So, happy St. Patty's Day. This is the first edition of Cooking with Julie. Who knows? It might be the last. But thanks for listening to WGLR. Bye.